In the previous episode of Linux Literate, I talked about setting up Steam and Proton. And there were some people in the comments who criticized the fact that I didn't talk about setting up graphics drivers. Fair enough. Setting up graphics drivers, especially for NVIDIA users, is a crucial part of getting your PC ready to play games on Linux. So hi, I'm Gardner, and welcome to another episode of Linux Literate. How to install graphics drivers. This guide is going to be from the perspective of Ubuntu, since it's the most widely used and forked distribution. There are two ways of doing it. First, the simple way is to open up your software and updates utility, and then click the additional drivers tab. From here, find your graphics card in the list and select the driver version you wish to install. Most of the time there should only be one, but if there's more than one, the higher number is usually the better option. Now click apply and the drivers will be downloaded and installed. Restart your system and you should be good to go. However, there are a few things you may wish to consider before installing your drivers. First, if you've got a modern AMD card or Intel graphics, you probably won't need to fuss over this at all, since your drivers are free, open source, and included in the operating system from Atom. The other thing to think about is which driver version you should get. For example, if you look at Life is Strange before the Storm system requirements, you'll realize you need a newer version of the NVIDIA drivers than what's provided by default in the operating system. So you can install a PPA, which is an additional repository, to your system with a newer build of the drivers. In most instances, newer graphics drivers will provide greater performance, better compatibility with software, and bug fixes. The process is pretty simple here too. Find the link in the description to launchpad.net. This is the official graphics repository maintained by Canonical, the company behind Ubuntu. In it, they include the latest builds of Nvidia's graphics drivers. On this page, you'll want to scroll down to technical details about this PPA, and then click on it to expand. You'll see deb, and then a URL, your Ubuntu version here, main. You want to copy this line to your clipboard, then open additional drivers again. Click the other software tab and then hit the add button. Paste the line we copied from launchpad.net into this window and ensure you've changed your Ubuntu version here to your Ubuntu version. As of the release of this video, the latest version of Ubuntu is Bionic. If you're using Ubuntu 18.10, you'll want to use the term Cosmic, but let's just stick with Bionic for now. All right, click the add button. And once you do, two entries should appear in this window. One should be checked, the other typically won't be. That's fine. Click close and then choose reload. This will rebuild your package cache. If you happen to click on additional drivers before clicking close, nothing will show up because you need to reload your package cache. And finally, reopen software and updates, click additional drivers and choose the latest version of the drivers. Once everything's installed, you should be done. As for AMD users, while I haven't personally used AMD cards on Linux in forever, I'm told that updating Mesa is as simple as updating any other package on your system. And if you're not familiar with what Mesa is, it's the shared 3D library between AMD and Intel graphics cards. Well, you should now be prepared to play your games on Ubuntu. What do you think? Doesn't it seem manageable? Leave me a comment and let me know what you think, or hit me up on Twitter, at the Linux Gamer. If you believe in the work that I do, you can support the show with a monthly contribution over on Patreon, or you can buy a t-shirt. There's a link below. But no matter what you do, whether you hit that like button or share this video with your friends, don't forget to subscribe to see more from me, The Linux Gamer. And as always, thanks for watching.